Greetings, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here and tuning into this reading. Let us go ahead and see what intuitive messages you may need to know at this time. So this reading is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. If you feel as though the messages here do not resonate for you at all, please also check your other placements. Thank you, and let's begin. What does Scorpio need to know and need to be aware of at this time? We ask for insights and guidance for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, so starting this reading with the Five of Swords, followed by the Ten of Cups, the Sun of Pentacles, the Daughter of Swords. Wow. So this is quite a heavy energy, Scorpio, but I feel like you're definitely bouncing back and moving forward and healing yourself. I feel like this is already passing energy. This is what you've been through in the recent past. The Five of Swords here is the energy of conflict, arguments, fights. This could also be that you were dealing with some kind of op opponent or enemy, a hidden enemy with the Moon card. It was happening in the background. You were not seeing it in the beginning. But the Daughter of Swords tells me that you're now become aware of who this person is or what they're trying to do in the, in the shadow, right? This is a harbored secret with the High Priestess. There is somebody around you that is quite secretive or they could be wearing a false mask. Your intuition may have been giving you signs, Scorpio, that this person is not who they seem to be or they are not that person they say they are, okay? But actions definitely speak louder, okay? And I feel like you have the, that gift of discernment. You can cut through the illusion. The moon card in some definition speaks about hidden enemies. So you have to remain cautious when dealing with this person. There might even be some sabotage, like you feel someone was trying to ruin something you work hard for, Scorpio, with a ton of cups, or ruin a good relationship that you have with other people. They were trying to um, sabotage a good thing that's happening here. But I feel like this is not going to work. It's only going to backfire. The energy that they put out there is the energy that they attract, all right? So the message here is for you to stay in your power, Scorpio. And be careful of who you trust in at this time because not everyone has our heart's best interest. There is something about your hard work. There is something about the need for you to protect what you have created, what you've manifested for yourself and not be so easily trusting and welcoming that you have to figure out people's intentions first and foremost. There might be someone here that you've considered as family or as part of your soul family. We have the Six of Swords energy. So you are indeed moving forward with your life. You're not lingering on what happened in the past. Like I mentioned, there's going to be recovery. There's going to be upgrades for you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're manifesting your energy towards something new, new opportunities, new blessings. The rainbow here is a very auspicious sign as well that good times are coming and hardships are already done and over. I see someone getting left behind with the Six of Swords here at the bottom, okay? Like there was a very important lesson that you've learned. Um, going through this situation allowed you to be stronger and wiser. You might be indeed dealing with family, okay? Relatives or someone you consider as part of your inner circle here. There was this feeling of being betrayed, wrongfully accused, okay? Or someone sabotaged something that you worked hard for. In some definition, the Five of Swords can mean intimidation, bullying, harassment, um, or gossip. Somebody spreading false information with the Daughter of Swords behind your back, okay? Because they cannot do this in front of you, Scorpio.
the Son of Swords. Yes, they're coming in with some kind of hidden agenda. They say one thing and do another, okay? The Six of Swords, it feels like it's a very deeply rooted issue. Or you may have realized that it's going to be that deep. That this could be something that's not just that easy to fix or sort out. The disrespect here that they've shown you and that they've done is just too overwhelming. It's too much. There's this desire on your end to just get away, Scorpio. And really detach your energy. Some of you felt like you've given this person a lot of chances. You've been very kind Giving them the, the benefit of the doubt, okay? There's going to be a, a swift decision on your part here. This could be cutting communication. Fleeing the situation as well. Choosing your battles, most importantly, Scorpio. Some of you are realizing you're putting so much energy and attention. And it's not helping you heal and move forward okay somebody is now finding themselves regretful scorpio somebody realized that you know what they've done towards you was not right it wasn't fair somebody may have lashed out on you as well with the five of swords or shown childlike behavior immature behavior yeah there's someone here who you know you can no longer trust. We have the daughter of wands. And trust is something that definitely needs to be earned. But they could be coming in and asking for an apology. They want to redeem themselves and prove themselves to you. The judgment card is about second chances. But like I mentioned, some of you feel like you've given them more than more, more chances, okay? Than they actually um, deserve, okay? I feel like there's this realization of needing to protect your heart, protect your feelings, to not be taken advantage of. You might be dealing with a very young energy. I see a lot of page here, or they still lack the experience. Some of you felt like someone wasn't, um, they, 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 were, they were being sort of selfish here at Scorpio, that they judged you and, and, this is because they were trying to do something to achieve their own means. Yeah, you don't consider this person as family anymore. I feel like with two knights here, um, you're definitely drawing the line, creating boundaries. For some of you, it could be that you and this person go way back. You have it in your heart to forgive this person, but forgiveness doesn't mean... You're okay with what this person has done, the disrespect, the sabotage, but it means that you're giving yourself finally that go signal that it is time to heal, it is time to move forward, it is time to release and purge this out of your system, um, that you cannot hold on to this low vibrational energy, okay? We are going to clarify these cards. Why is the Five of Swords here? Knight of Swords. So that showed up twice. All right. So Scorpio, for some of you, I'm really getting a very jealous energy here as well. It could be because you have had a lot of radical change in your life, whether it's about your personal relationship, your overall growth, might also be in terms of work, business, finances. I feel like there's someone here who felt like they were being... Um, like they were threatened or they were extremely competitive and, and they were not liking it, Scorpio, that you are excelling, you're doing a lot better. It made them feel some type of way. Somebody felt like they can't seem to catch up with you. And so these kinds of deeply rooted feelings and insecurities may have turned out to be um, negative. Their perception about this has become negative. You had nothing but clear intentions for someone. But now they realize that they made a mistake of misjudging you and saying all of these things about you, Scorpio. They find themselves regretful, okay? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Magician. 
you're about to manifest something big, Scorpio. I feel like you're focusing all of your energy now into your goals, priorities, health as well for some of you, or healing. Whatever it is here that you put your mind and heart into, you can manifest. You're about to accomplish great things, okay? Stay optimistic as this will only attract more abundance into your life. Some of you might also be done pleasing other people. Like if you feel someone doesn't deserve that trust or that support, you're only going to support those that support you. Someone felt like they can get their way with you here. It's also what I'm seeing here. Because to me, the Six of Cups means kindness. You may have felt like you, your kindness has been taken advantage of in one way, shape, or form. You've been extremely generous. But when you feel like you're being attacked here, Scorpio, you're going to do whatever it takes to protect yourself and protect your loved ones. Why is the Son of Pentacles here? The Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's overall disappointment. You thought that this was an ally. This was someone that you trusted, okay? But they turn out to be a disappointment for you, Scorpio. But you're getting over these feelings as well. You're not lingering on them. Uh, you're taking this as sort of a lesson, wisdom. I feel like for some of you, forgiveness is one thing, but taking this person back as part of your circle, part of your life, you're going to be smarter and wiser about the choices that you make here. The Four of Cups is assessment, it might also be rejection, you're about to reject an offer, saying no as well, learning to say no, Scorpio. Why is the Daughter of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles. So I see someone getting cut off. I see someone now as a result of their behavior, they're now um, isolating themselves, all right? Because with the Five of Swords, the consequences of their behavior, they may have realized that uh, they lost so much more because of what they've done. It's a self-imposed sabotage. It backfired on them, Scorpio. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. It's a card of, again, assessment. Somebody's now assessing their behavior. Five of Swords and the Page of Cups. This showed up twice, the Five of Swords. Somebody is now feeling defeated, Scorpio. Because you're moving on, you're moving forward. Somebody has been emotionally on edge. Like, I feel like you finding out or you moving on, cutting communication... They're definitely feeling on edge. They're definitely feeling regretful here. Somebody realized they've been so immature or that they've been so impulsive with things that they've said and things that they've done. And now they're assessing themselves as well. Like, why did I do this to Scorpio? I could have been more upfront, more honest. Um, why is the Six of Cups energy here? The Seven of Swords. So you realize someone, someone really has um, been wearing a false mask. They say one thing and do another. They're different when they're with you. They're different when they're speaking to somebody else or others. When you're not around. There's gossip here. They thought that they are never going to be discovered, but what is done in the dark will ultimately be revealed into the light. So somebody also tried to manipulate how people perceive them. It might be that Scorpio, in the beginning, they tried to paint themselves as the victim of the situation. Like you're the perpetrator. Then people are about to find out the truth, okay? We have the King of Cups here. This is your energy, maturity, wisdom, emotional strength and control. Some of you realize I don't have to uh, put myself down. 
this is a pointless kind of winning with the Five of Swords. Some of you realize that no matter what you do, you cannot win on this person's argument or fight. That they're not that mature. You both are not in the same wavelength. But I feel like there's a lot of time needed to be given to yourself for healing. Some of you felt confused. Like I thought I can trust this person. Or why is this person behaving this way? What did I do to cause this person to betray me? Even if you didn't do anything towards this individual. Why is the Daughter of Wands here? The Justice card. Wow. So there is going to be justice in your situation, Scorpio. Take this message however resonates, okay? So for some of you, this might even be in the workplace. There might be like a person or a group of people here where you feel like they're scheming or that they could be doing something behind your back, spreading false information, malicious intentions as well. But the truth always prevails. What is done in the shadow will be revealed in the light. Someone will need to face the consequences of their actions. Could be also why there's the, the judgment card here, right? Somebody is about to admit the things that they've been hiding, things that they've been keeping in secret. And they're about to face the consequences. The moon card is again about deception or hidden enemy. Someone has been definitely hiding things from you, Scorpio. Um, but this is a time to speak your truth with confidence and strength. You know, don't worry yourself with what this person is, has been saying or people, their opinions, their viewpoints. Time to stand up for yourself against all odds, okay? Some of you might be even taking legal route or letting authorities know because the seven of swords here is deception this honesty scheming sabotage somebody may have ruined something that you work hard for and they thought that they're going to get away with it but they're not what comes around goes around the justice card is a very complex concept of cause and effect sometimes we can experience the result of our actions right away like within a day or two but in some cases, this can have a ripple effect that can be felt in years, months to come. So even if you don't experience justice right away, know that universe always loves to keep its account balance. Some of you may not be there to witness the justice, okay? This is like a very huge lesson that some of you are learning. If this speaks about someone you have been in a long-term relationship, this is a completely different message. Perhaps you found out that this person was sabotaging your connection. They, they were doing something intentional to ruin the relationship. Because they don't have the courage to face you and say uh, what their problem is. But with the justice card, a decision on your part needs to happen here, Scorpio. Um, it could be about staying or going. The Seven of Pentacles is there something to work on in this relationship? Is there something to hold on to? But you definitely felt the disappointment with this person because you thought that they had good intentions for you with the magician. They could be sending you out a message and wanting to reconcile and work things out. Uh, but with the Justice card and the King of Cups, it's hard to unknow what you already know, okay? Okay. Like, it's not going to be that easy of a decision. Yes, you can forgive them, but to trust them, it's going to require time and them making efforts to really show that they're willing to make things right by you. And healing is going to require a long time as well if they really mean to make change. The decision is going to be on you at the end of the day, Scorpio. It's really important to give yourself time and think things over. What is your advice for Scorpio at this time? The Great Gathering is all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Let me read what this card is saying. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. 
You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet, and as you travel and share your creation, something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you in your soul's personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line, and the planet, to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come. One of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It is time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you and you share the medicine that you most need, those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Wow, so Scorpio, Scorpio, some of you here are about to meet a new soul tribe, okay? Real, genuine connections. You could be leaving a toxic dynamic, group dynamic here, where you feel like you no longer share the same values, principles, you're not being treated right, you're not being respected, you're not being heard, acknowledged. You may speak about a relationship as well. Remember that you are your tribe. What you seek is also seeking you. This could be the time to really trust what your inner voice is saying and not settle, th settle down for anything less than you deserve, okay? That is what I'm picking up from your reading. Please take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.